because I knew I was following you on one of them, but I wasn't, I was like, well, shit, Kitty the Trucker. Okay, well, right, well, let me follow that one too. So, so yeah, that, that was the one that, I don't even think you got much on, on Kitty the Trucker. You only, what, you only got two pictures no, on No, that's why. Oh. Yeah, that's why I don't use that one. Oh, okay. Well, shit, you should go ahead and delete that motherfucker. Yeah, no, oh, I gotta should... reserve my name. <laughs> like I said, you big kitty. I am the one and only kitty the trucker. You, you big kitty over there, but you know you got you got plenty wow, more. Wow, out, man. They got, knocking on me. You you got you got more kid you you got more kitties okay. out there now. So you know. I'm Hold just on, what? No. I'm yes, sir. Yes, sir. We doing it big. We doing it live. That's what's up. Welcome back, everybody, to another Lockout Man podcast show. The only show where the train just keeps on moving. And what I need to know in the LOM community, do y'all like this behind the scenes? I know y'all do. Y'all like this. Y'all like this behind the scenes. Because this is what it looks like when I do my interviews. You know what I'm saying? I may not be looking at y'all over here in the live feed camera, but I'm looking at my regular camera while I'm doing this. So what's up, everybody in the Lockout, uh, Lockout Men community? Teddy Pender, Sean Booten, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, if you guys like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for all the content that comes through. If you want to support your boy, you can do that. Support me. Hook me up with some coffee or something. Give me something to drink. This is a job now. This is a job, all right? Jobby job. Hook your boy up. Cash app. Lockout men. Dollar sign. Lockout men. I'm just saying. Dollar, two, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. If everybody else could turn around and say, yo, support me, support me. Support me, too. I want to be supported. That's what's up. Well, today's podcast interview that I have for you guys this evening comes by way of a follow-up. Yes, sir. She been on the show before. She's a friend of the show. She got out there <laughs> brand new to the, well, she's also new. You know, she's new to the industry. But she killing it, though. She killing it. She got about 3,000 plus subscribers on her YouTube page. Hot to death on her Instagram page. And I'm just saying, this this young lady just doing it. <laughs> well, I want to bring to the show the one, the only, Kitty the Trucker. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back, <laughs> Kitty the Trucker. Thank you, Lockout Man. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Welcome back to where it all started. Good to be back. You say it's good to be back. Good to be back. Well, yes, it is. Tell, introduce yourself to everybody before I get into it. Um, I am Kitty the Trucker. That's my YouTube, but um, I'm Tony Love, Tony. and I'm out here in the trucking world. I've been out here for eleven months now, almost made a year since I've been behind the wheel, and I've been solo in my own truck for like six months now. Oh my God! It's 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 been that long, eleven months. It has been that long. Are you serious? You can't be serious right now. It's been 11 months, for real. For I real. am. It's been 11 months since I've been behind the wheel of the truck. Yep. All <laughs> six right. months get... with my trainer uh -huh. and almost six months solo. Wow. All right. So get us caught up to uh, get us caught up to uh, where you came from and, and, and where you at right now. Um, from like the last, from our last, last time we sat down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time we checked in because you was, you was in training. You was, you was in training yes. with your, with your trainer. Uh, you had a little, I, I think I talked to you when you had your first mishap and you had to end up staying on your trainer's truck a little while. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had, I, I completed my 50,000 miles and, um, 
I had to do an extra 20,000 miles on top of that because I had two mishaps um, <laughs> with the trailers. So I did the extra 20,000. So I completed a total of 70,000 miles um, before I was able to upgrade. So that put me back on the road an extra like six weeks. But during that time, I got winter driving out of the way. Um, I chained up uh, in Colorado, um, going over Bell Mountain. So um, while I wasn't happy about the additional miles that I had to do, they were very helpful for, you know, me being solo um, in this upcoming winter. So I'm 100% prepared for winter driving right now. So, yeah, um, I went ahead and I finished that out. I went back um, to Prime like two weeks before COVID really hit. I went back to Prime. I upgraded and um, I chose lease over company and I've been out here ever since on my own um i've had a you know a couple of you know rookie mistakes but nothing too major i'm still getting the job done and you know like i said i upgraded right before covid so you know going through that process watching how everything changed i was just glad that i was able to get in and get my truck because it kind of delayed things you know all right, all right. Welcome, uh, Teddy Pender, Sean Bulton, Sean uh, two o three. What's going on, guys? Uh, we talking to uh, Kitty the Trucker today, aka Tony Love. Tony Love. It sounds like a after <laughs> like a after hours. Tony now. Love. Tony Love on on uh, on on the <laughs> dial one o two point one FM. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so you chose, so you you rocked out with Prime. You knocked it out. Yo, you you been with your one trainer. You you did not have no issues uh, with your trainer training at Prime, right? No, I had a great trainer. I had one of the great trainers. Um, you know, I talked about training a lot on um, a few of my videos on YouTube. Um, you know, I've heard so many different stories. You know about trainers and not just that prime across the board trainers at all of these companies i just feel like you know when you first come out here trainers they're gonna make you or break you in this industry and if you have a bad trainer you know regardless if he doesn't he or she doesn't know how to teach you or you know hygiene or whatever it may be what goes on on these trucks you know i feel like trainers should all go through something a lot more rigorous than what they have to do to be trainers. Because like I said, it makes or break you out here. I know so many people, I wonder how many people who have, you know, gave up on trucking just because they couldn't get through their training, you know? Mm. And that, and that is so sad to hear because like I said, I, I talked to, I talked to a few people that had some good experience and definitely a few people that had some, some bad experience with their trainers so much so that they, right. they, they didn't even, they, they said, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to find something else. Trucking just ain't for me, but you got to understand when you come into exactly. this, when you come into this industry anyway, you know, trucking, you know, may or may not be for the right people. And if you get a bad trainer, that just makes it, that just makes it worse. So, but unfortunately for you, you had to exactly. you had to do an you had to do an additional two thousand or uh, twenty thousand. What was the reason? Right. What was the reason why you had to do an additional twenty thousand miles? Um. Well, I had two incidents with uh, trailers. Um, it was early on in my training. I <laughs> I made a left, and I didn't go out far enough and swing out far enough. Mm -hmm. And I made a left, and I put the trailer, took it down at, at a receiver. And the next, the other situation, um, it was a clearance issue. Um, the trees were too low, and I hit a tree. Oh, okay. Um, and, I, and I showed that on my um, 50,000 50, miles or less, why can I upgrade video? Mm -hmm. I showed um, where I um, actually hit the trailer. So I had those two incidents, the trailers. And they gave me an extra ten thousand miles per incident. So yeah, I had to do those twenty thousand miles because of that. So you had to do it. You had to do it with the trainer you was with, or they sent you out with somebody else. No, I kept my same trainer. <clears throat> he put up with me um, a little while longer. <laughs> okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, so the twenty, so the additional twenty thousand. 
what they they called you up? How? Of course you had to. What would he? Would he do? Your trainer had to report the incidents. Of course. Well, and, yeah. When, once the incidents happened, you know, I wasn't anywhere near my fifty thousand when they happened. But um, of course, they, I mean, the incidents had to report it because the trailers had to be repaired. And um, when I hit fifty thousand miles. I called my fleet manager and I let him know, like, you know, can I upgrade? And he was like, well, safety want to talk to you. And as soon as they said safety want to talk to you, I already knew <laughs> that wasn't anything good. So they brought us back into the terminal and I sat down with safety and, you know, they pretty much gave me the news. Wow. And I always say, oh. I, I always say if, if you, whenever you get a call from safety or whenever dispatch or, or your fleet manager say, Hey, uh, safety want to talk to you it's never good it's never good never never good never thing, good. right never <laughs> ever ever good but uh but you persevered yeah, persevered you persevered and safety gave you the uh opportunity this the uh, hold on right quick uh this is the video right here that you guys could go on her channel which is kitty the trucker uh prime ink training 50 K miles completed. Why can't I upgrade? Definitely go check that video out, and um, and she'll tell you more about what happened. Uh, but you, uh, of course, they they gave you the opportunity to stay. They they didn't uh, they didn't kick you out or anything like that. But did they say <laughs> no? They did not kick me out. But God. but did they say anything to uh, to discourage you? Like okay, well, if you get another incident that's it or something like that no nothing like that was ever said oh, no. okay okay they just told me to go back out you know keep a clean nose you know and i'll go ahead and upgrade so yeah i was never told that that would be like that was like the last thing and they was going to send me to the chopping yard you know <laughs> all right so you went back you upgrade i guess you tried fetid I guess that's what they say, you know, they you try fetted it and everything and now you're now you're rolling with prime. Now, not kitty, kitty, kitty. Mm -hmm. I I have seen some videos. I I've seen some videos, man. Okay. I've seen some videos. And one of your video let's, one, let's talk about it. One of one of your videos uh was profiled on uh the Asian My Show. And uh, I think he, yeah. I, I think he profiled the one with uh, you showing your pay stubs. Is it, is it this one right here, thirteen k training pay? I think that was it. The one that yeah. you made five months ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, you, you, you made, right. you, you made this one. And of course, like I said, Asian Mai uh profiled you on uh, on his show. Um. Come on, Kitty. Mm -hmm. Come on, Kitty. You you a brand new trucker. You know what I'm saying? You you brand new to the biz. You still a greenhorn out there. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and you with you with Prime. Seems to me everybody that that rocks out with Prime always have something good, exciting to say. But come on, Kitty. Come on, Kitty. Come on now. You uh -huh. you. You're a brand you you're a brand new trucker in the game. What how, uh -huh. how how do you how, how do you feel that prime is the is the be all end all in 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 the amount that you're getting? In the amount okay, so we're talking about the training pay video? What we talking about we we talking is about that the, the video you want to talk about? No, we talking about we we talking about you coming on saying that, you know, I I'm good with prime and I'm making this money. I need to know how I need to know what are you doing to make that money? Like why why are you saying that Prime is the is the spot that you that that you're making this money? What would you do? What are you doing that well, that somebody let else me is ask not you doing? This. Let me Go ask ahead. you this, lockout man. Go ahead. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Have you checked out the May settlement video? Oh, wait a minute now. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The May settlement video, which it's which one is that yeah, now? Yeah, because we're talking see. about a training pay video. And, uh, okay, you know, a training okay. pay video. I no, no. Yeah, that's the one. No, is that the one you're talking about? That's the one that uh, Asian, my, my fault, my now, fault. Now, 
Asia, Asia Manso, no, Asia Manso, he definitely did the 13K training okay. K video. That's what he did. Okay, and then this one right here, uh, two months ago, Lease Operator Sediments, May 2020. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So let's let's talk about you gotta that. Tell me what you're checking out. Okay, I'm I'm on it. I'm I'm on it now. I'm I'm on it now. So talk to me, you lease operator. Number one, you decided to go lease op. I mean, lease op with Prime instead of rocking out with uh rocking out with company. What was the reason behind that? Correct. Um, because I talked to company drivers. Uh, my trainer was company, and I knew. Uh, three lease drivers, and I saw the settlement. I saw the pay difference. And, you know, so I said I was going to go lease. I'll take on the responsibility and go lease. And that's what I did. Okay. Because I'm out here to make money, you know? Okay. So being a lease driver, what's what's all the responsibilities you're talking about? Now, I, I know for a fact that uh, they said, what, what kind of truck they set you up with? 2020, 2019, 2018? What you got? You choose your own truck. I have a 2020 International. All right, so you got a brand new truck, right? Yes, I do. So, mm -hmm. so the weekly payments on that truck is not cheap. Can you tell us how much? Uh, it is not. Can you tell us how much you paying? Uh, my week weekly, my weekly payment is like a thousand and forty five. A thousand forty five for my truck. Y'all hear that? A thousand forty five. That's not cheap, bro. Uh, that's that's not cheap at all. So you you pay it. So no, the, it <laughs> so the truck payments is a thousand forty five. Now you being the brand new driver, man, you know you you came into the game like yo. I'm just gonna go ahead and go strong. Go ahead, go ahead strong in this. So since you've been a lease op, how long? Uh, how have you been home? Have have you been home? Because I yes, I've been home. You you been home? You been off for a couple of days? You they they taught you how to how to manage your money and everything because I'm assuming if you if you take I'm like 34 two, years old, I know how to manage my money. Okay, well, I, if you take like 3 4 days off, man, you take 3 4 days off at $1000 uh -huh. a week, man, that's you know, that's going to put you like like set you back, but how how are you how are you doing it to manage your money? Let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you how I manage that portion. So we're gonna break that portion down. For Go ahead. Me. Go ahead. Because let I work our our weekly pay our weekly um payroll goes in on Wednesday. I work Wednesday to Wednesday, right? Mm -hmm. So let me tell you how I do it. Mm -hmm. Now, if I know that I want to take some home time. I go home on Friday or Saturday. Okay. I get me a load from Wednesday to Friday or Saturday. That load covers my truck note and all my fixed expenses and my my fuel. And I go home. I go home Friday, Saturday. I get to party with my friends if I want to. Okay. On Monday, Tuesday, I handle business. Wednesday, maybe I'll stay home. But Thursday, I'm back out here. And so I've had fun with my friends. I've handled my business. My truck note was covered, and I pocketed probably four hundred to six hundred dollars, and my truck note is paid. That's how I do it. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up, boss lady. That's what's <laughs> up. That's what's up. Okay, so <laughs> so let's talk about your so let's talk about your May settlements. You know that, that you talked in uh talked in that. So you do what, what's your average miles a week? What, what do you do uh average in miles? Average, I couldn't even tell you, but I anywhere but I twenty three hundred sometimes. I don't, I don't really know. I never do like three thousand miles. I, I'm stuck in the two thousand range somewhere. All right, so within, so within the two thousand range, uh, how much are you, how much are you, uh, are you grossing? First thing first, are you, are you getting paid cent per mile or are you getting paid percentage? Um, I get percentage. Oh, okay. Now see, now see, there's a now there it is. There it is, y'all. There it is. Because there's always a difference between percentage and uh cent per mile pay. So and a lot of people, a lot of people like percentage over 
cent per mile anyway. Am I am I wrong for saying that? I mean, I would think so. I mean, I like percentage over cent per mile personally. Okay, okay. So so what's the so what's the percentage that 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 you get out of a load? 50, 40, 30, 10? I don't No, it's somewhere like and don't quote me on this cuz I don't know exactly, but it's somewhere between 70 or 74, I think, something like that. Okay, that's on the that's on the larger size. That's that's on a yep. large okay, brand new trucker doing seventy percent of the load, man. That's on a larger side. That's on a larger scale. Is that would that be because of 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 the truck that you paying for every week, the amount that you paying for the truck every week, or is that something that you negotiated when when you decided to go lease? This was the lease times that was um, presented to me. Say what? That's across the board. Oh, okay. Okay. That's across the board. Okay. Now this particular lease that you're doing with Prime, because you're not only you're you're doing it, but you know, a couple of other uh other uh truckers that's coming into Prime, they they choose to go lease also. Um but right. um but for you for you choosing to go lease, that pretty much gives you the opportunity to, to to control everything now let me ask you this being that you're a lease driver mm -hmm. you're not getting the benefits of a company driver like you don't have uh you don't have uh vision dental health uh no. 401k and all that stuff no. so basically you're just i'm not offer major medical mm -hmm. yeah i'm not offer major medical they do have some policies that they do offer but no it's not major medical i don't get the benefits that um, a company driver gets all right. So what do you say? So what do you say to the people that 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 say, you know, uh, that say people that's going leasing with Prime is a bad idea? What do you say to what do you say to people about that? I mean, it's a bad idea if you don't know how to manage your money, if you don't know how to be responsible. It may be a bad idea. I know a lot of people who um, who have less because they can't stay out of the hole. You know, they say they make seven hundred dollars a settlement and all this kind of stuff. I'm not really sure how that's happening for them, but clearly to me, they don't know how to manage their money. If you're a sickly person who needs health insurance, you know, then maybe company is for you. You know, but you know, I haven't been to the hospital and I can't tell you how long. You know. Okay, and that's what's but up. But I do this. have myself covered as far as that's concerned. You know, okay. if I do need to go, I do have myself covered. Okay, that's what's up. Let's see. Uh, let's see what the LOM community is talking about here. Uh, Wise Isle says thumbs up. I appreciate it. It's it is free, definitely free. And if you guys want to support and get me something to drink, you know the cash app uh, dollar sign lockout man is in the comments. So check it out. D Nitty, yo, what's good? Uh, David Garcia, hello from San Antonio. Man, come on now. You you know I gotta. Hold on right quick. I got to give it up to, I, I got to give it up for Houston. I got to give it up for Houston. That's what's up. I got to give it up for Houston. <laughs> Kitty the trucker. Are, are, are you from, you, you from Houston too, ain't you? No, Georgia. No. Houston. No, you know. Yes, I'm from Georgia. <laughs> That's, I, why did, why did I figure that? Why, why did I not know yeah. that you are Georgia? I got a, um. Person? I am a Georgia Peach. I'm not going. Yeah, yes, I'm a Georgia Peach. But like I man, I would hate to have to say this to you, but I got my load ready and I am about to get up out of here right now. Uh, um, all right. I don't know if we could talk a little longer. If you call me back, if you give me a little time. But yeah, right now I got to get this load um, up out of here. Well, you want to, I tell you what, I, I'll get, I, I'll, I'll throw this at you. You want to put your AirPods in and you can still talk to me that way? Uh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me give you the product. Yeah. Oh, oh, wrong button. Hold on. Yeah. AirPods. Let's give it up for AirPods. She has an Apple phone. <laughs> she has a she has an iPhone. Okay. I'm I'm not an iPhone fan, but I am going to get the new 
uh, Samsung Note that's coming out next week. So I will be getting that. Comes with a little Samsung pen. Samsung better. A- Android's better. Team Android over here. That's what? what I'm saying. No, 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 no. Team, Team Android. Android. You know. Team Android over I here. I that. No, no. Team, no. Team Android, baby. Team Android all the way. All the way. Team Android. Now, yes, now I, I do have an iPhone, but I just use it as an iPod. That's about it. It's the iPhone 6, but the fucking battery is horrible. So I got to take it to, I probably got to okay. take it to this dude. I got to take it to this dude so he can, so he can fix it. Sean, 20, Sean 203 says, Prime Eat. Hold on right quick. It just, it just went out. So uh, Sean203 says Prime Inc. has a CDL program, correct? Yes, they do. Um, I got to admit, I do got to admit, Prime CDL program for CDL school is just about one of the best that I can come across. All right. They, they, are, <laughs> they, they are strict, but they are the best. And as, as me and Kitty says, you got to get you you got to get a good trainer. It's all about the trainer. If you get a if you get a fucked up trainer, no matter where you are. Yeah, no matter where you are, if you get a fucked up trainer, then you just going to it's it's not going to be it's not going to be exciting. It's not going to be pr- proficient. It's just not going to work and it's just going to make you feel I can't do it no more. I can't do this shit. Can I do this shit? Um Sean203 says Android all day. Hell yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Nah. Hell, hold on right quick. Hell yeah. Android all day. It's just like my man, uh, it's just like my man, what's his name say? Smoke weed every day. Hell yeah. Android all day. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Y'all, you, yeah, you can keep that iPhone. I love Android a long time ago. Not going back. My phone over here all day, baby. All day. Teflon, Teflon Twan, the the trucker says she's making money, money, making make money. I gotta get that. I gotta get that sound cue. So when I go back and edit this <laughs> for the regular podcast, I'm gonna make sure I put that money, 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 money. I'm gonna make sure I put that in there. Um, money. Uh, let's see. No, but I have a question for you, like out here. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. I've been out here for five you, years. Five years. Five years. I'm a. Five I'm, years. I'm what you call a veteran. Yeah. You know. You were, oh, five years since you had to get that. Okay. <laughs> so my question is, when my settlement, what do you think about my earnings? What I think about your earnings? Do you think I'm doing good or yes? For you know, for for a new jack that's that's coming into the game with with about as much experience as you have. It's pretty good. I, I gotta admit, it, it, it's 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 pretty good. And as you already said, that you know how to manage your money. So for you managing your money, you you doing pretty good. I'm not gonna knock. I'm I'm not gonna knock nobody that's that's going lease. Lease is it may or may not be for me. You know what I'm saying? I've been out here for five years, and I, I I've been company, and I've been making good money with with the companies that I have been with thus far. And I, you know, I'm I'm sent per mile. I'm not I'm not pen uh I'm not um what do you call it? Percentage. I'm also a regional driver. So I don't I don't drive over the road no more either. So the cent per mile that I get okay. the cent per mile that I get along with the miles that I put in every week works for me. I get paid over a thousand dollars a week. 
You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to say exactly okay. how much I pay or how much I get take home. I can tell you that the take home pay is a thousand dollars a week, more than that. But I'm just saying. Okay. But as far as as far as the lease driver and the reasons why you went there, you know, you said you know company drivers at Prime just ain't making no money. You know, and you're not the only one that that well, said that. You're not the only one that said that. You know, a couple of other a couple of other drivers that, you know, that blew through Prime said the same thing. They wasn't making no money on 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 the Prime side. And and the lease side is the okay. is the way to go. So, but for you, you know what I'm saying? For you, you you killing it. You 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 killing it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I, I feel you. You know what I'm saying. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you nothing different. But I got this question: What, what about uh, what about drivers? Okay. What about drivers that do come in? What about drivers that do come in and 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 you know try to discourage you and all like that? How do you handle? How do you ha- handle truck drivers that 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 say that negative stuff to you as far as prime goes? <laughs> You know what? I you know I get so many negative comments um, on TV the trucker. You know, even before I sold my settlements, now um, I sold my settlements was to let the people know. You know, there's people who always looking for information about different companies, always trying to decide. You know where they want to go. So I sold my settlements for them, not to get in the pissing contest that tends to go on with truck drivers about who makes the most money out here. You know. And so when people come to me and tell me what I should be doing and, you know, I'm not making any money, my truck note is too high, you know, all of this stuff, I honestly, I used to try to reply and, and argue with them. But now, like I mean, I just block them. I delete them real quick. It, I don't have time, you know. And that's... I, have, I have loads to run money to make. I have no time to argue with you about my money. <laughs> I don't have the time anymore. So, and yeah. That's, I don't let him bother. That's what's up. That's what's up. So it's all, it, it, and like I said before, it's all about, it, it's all about the person. You know what I'm saying? So she choose, she choose where she want to rock out at. And it, like I said, it's all about you doing your homework, you doing your research and who you want to, who you want to rock out with. You know, majority right. of these people is doing good. And I don't knock anybody, even the people, even the people that go company, wherever. I made a video about that, you know. You know, do what feels best for you. You know, everybody have different goals out here. Everybody don't want to be an owner operator. Everybody don't want to truck own a small fleet. That's not everybody's goal out here. So you have to let people do what fits their lifestyle. What's enough for you may not be enough for the next person. You know, you can't judge other people's situation, lives, and their money. You know, me solo. You know, some of these people they have like three baby moms four kids, five kids. I'm just me. I don't have not one child. I have nothing but me. So what goes a long way for me goes nowhere for you because you have all this stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? Handle your business. I'm going to handle my business. All right. Sorry. You know what? I'm 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 messing around and I hit the wrong button. Uh, Sorry, uh, Ch- Chakor. I did not mean to. I did, I did not mean to uh, delete your comment, but uh, I don't think I did. I think I brought it back. But you said, oh, my God, I came from iPhone to Samsung. Note 10 plus, horrible. Man, come on now. That's why I waited. I waited. I I, I knew the Note 10 wasn't going to be all that. So this new Note 20 that's coming out next week, Brother Man got that. Brother Man has to have that. Uh, let's see. F. F the okay. trucker, F the trucker. Up, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to meet you guys real quick while I do this. So, you know, I'll be back. Give me a second. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. And I'll, I'll go ahead and talk to the community while you're doing that. Uh, F the trucker, you say, uh, do you think, do you think about leasing with Prime or leasing program in general? Uh, what do you think about leasing with Prime or leasing in general? And this is only me, all right. This is only me, so you can, you know, you can take it with a gain, grain, uh, gain, gain, grain of salt, all right. But I'm not a fan of leasing. Um, if I'm gonna go lease, 
you know, my my feelings for leasing is is like you're renting the truck. That's that's how I feel about it. You're renting the truck. Um, you you're paying all that money every week for a truck that you're going to eventually give back. Now, I think Prime gives you the opportunity to purchase the truck. And I think when I I think the conversation that I had with with uh, with an interviewee about a while back, they it's an extra year, maybe two added on to actually buy the truck outright. If not, you can turn in the 2020 and then get a new 2021 and still rock out. Some people choose that route. Me, I feel that if I'm gonna if I'm gonna lease a truck, I'd rather buy it. I'd rather I'd rather go to the bank, you know, take out a loan, go to the dealership and buy it there. Or if I'm gonna lease a truck, I probably might not want to lease it through a company. I'd rather lease it through a dealership so I can take the truck wherever. I want to take it to. Now, some companies, I believe Shape World was with one of them. She leased on with uh, Cal Ark, but I guess it was separate. She was able to take the truck that she got from Cal Ark over to CFI. I'm not sure about that. You guys go over to her channel, Shape World uh, 15. She can explain more about how she how she did with, you know, with her lease. But me personally, I feel that I would take the truck from a dealership or lease it from a dealership so I will be able to take it wherever I want to go. If I take it to Prime, I'm good there. If I take it to U.S. Express, I'm good there. Snyder, such and such, such and such, such and such, so that I won't have no, no restrictions or in the truck. Like if I don't want a camera in my truck, if I don't want a camera in my truck, don't put no camera in my truck. You know what I'm saying? I don't want a camera in my truck. And But if you leasing it from the company and they say, yo, we have to put a camera in your truck, then you pretty much can't say nothing about it because you're leasing the truck through them. And it's pretty much either do it or don't work. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I just want to say real quick, you know, the, um, you know, I, right now with Prime, you have to do a regular lease for three months. Like for me, I've been out here six months with my truck, so I've done that. So right now I can go back into Prime, order a truck that I want, anything I want, have them bring it to me. And the lease purchase program with Prime, I'm pretty sure it's three years um, lease purchase program, so. You know, the current lease I have is a walk away lease, you know, and I, you know, like, like you said, I'm leasing the truck out and it goes back to them. And at the end, I'll get a, a, a bonus payout for completing this lease, which is somewhere like $30,000 after three years or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Um, but the lease purchase program, three years and you walk away with the truck. Okay. Um, you know, this truck payment is a thousand dollars, but I have a lot of bells and whistles on this, uh, this truck. Um, I have weight gauges. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's some upgrades to this truck, you know? And so when other people, you know, they say things about the thousand dollar payment and I realize that's a lot, you know, but also I bring home after taxes about two grand every week also, you know? So I'm not really arguing, complaining about the thousand dollar payment when I just brought two grand home. That's enough for me. Okay, that's, that's what's up. D Nitty says if you're not if you're making enough money to keep you happy and maintain your lifestyle, you're good. Exactly, exactly, and that's what Key that and that's what Kitty doing. She killing it, man. She killing it. New trucker. She just got into the game eight months ago or eleven months ago. I can't believe. I cannot believe it's almost a year. It's almost a year, man. That I that I talked to this young lady. Uh -huh. Almost a year, man. David Garcia says, Kitty the Trucker, thumbs up. Ne Neuro Lewis says, I like my no 10. Uh, D Nitty says, I would never lease on a big company. That's just my personal opinion. Same thing with me. I mean, I, I feel that's how I feel. I don't think I want to lease on to uh, uh, lease with a major carrier because 
it's too many restrictions that they held that they held to you on the truck. Uh, F the trucker. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to say, D, you know, she says you take home about 1700 and you got to pay for everything. I take home 2000 after I pay for everything. Okay, that's every that's that. every that's everything including the truck that's payment. All my expenses paid. Right. It, everything including the truck payment. My, even even after I take taxes, I bring home about eighteen to two thousand every week. Okay. And that's after everything: taxes, truck, insurance, everything. That's my take home. And that makes that's that video. <laughs> and that makes for and and that makes for. That's and that makes for a nice little bank. That makes for a nice little bank over there. All right, I'm going here again. That makes for a nice little bank over there, Kitty the Trucker. I got man, come on now, Kitty the Trucker. I, I should start calling you Kitty the Killing It Trucker. Kitty, Kitty the Killing Trucker. That's what I should start calling you. All right, so you you still moving? Oh, you on mute? Oh, okay. Okay, so you got to mute. All right, no problem. Uh, while we waiting on her to come back, uh, let's talk about that Note 10. You know what I'm saying? The Note 10, hell yeah. Uh, what you doing, bro? You, you cannot park right there. They need all that space to get around, bro. And I won't be here for too much longer, so give me a couple of more minutes and I'll be moving. I'm just saying. With your flashing lights on and everything. Anyway, uh. If you guys like this, nah, bruh, don't don't go over there, man. Nah, man, you can't. No, 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 bro. No, bro. No, bro. Don't let me get up out this truck, bro. You can't, uh, you, you won't be able to do it, bro. I don't even know how you're going to, what, what you going to do? You're going to swing around and trying to get up in that corner over there? You won't be able to do it, man. That's right. Keep it moving, bro. Keep it moving. Don't slow roll either. Take your ass around the corner and keep it moving. Because they're going to need all that space right there. Right there. I'm just saying. Hold on right quick. Let me show you guys. If y'all can. If you, let me see if that'll work. Nope, that won't work because I got my visor down, so you guys won't be able to see it. But anyway, anyway, um, yeah, the Note 10 or the Note 20 next week, uh, they got two versions of it. They got a big one and a bigger one. <laughs> the bigger one is $1,200. $1,200 for a phone. This thing right here, and if it drops, it breaks easily. Damn it, man. But that the 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 one the one like this, the one that I got right here, is uh is gonna be like 800 and something. And that's the one I'm gonna get. I, I really don't need all that fancy shit with the camera, uh, that slow motion shit. I, I don't even I don't even use all that shit. I I, I use my camera for what it is, like. I'll take a picture. That's about it. Hell, my my S my S10 that I got, the S model that I got right here, I still haven't used it to its full potential. I haven't even used it to its full potential. But like I said, I do like the I do like the the Note 20 that's coming out. So I will be getting that. And I and to be honest with you, I'm 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 not even sure if I'm going to use that uh to my full potential. Why is it not coming up like I like it's supposed to come up? Okay, you know what? I guess I'm going to have to close that and uh bring it back. Um I I see what you I I see what you said uh Nitty. I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to bring it back up. There we go. Uh, you say your take home is roughly about two grand and I don't pay for no nothing as a company driver. My friend owns companies. I know, I know they take home about four grand. That's why I would never work for a company for a company lease. I'm not knocking you at all. 
you're talking, you're taking, you're taking the bulls by the horn and you got a, and you got respect for that regardless. Michael Watts, what's going on, man? Is you, are you the Michael 5,000 Watts from, uh, wait a minute now, hold on. Are you the Michael 5,000 Watts from, yeah, are, are you, are, are you that, are you that? That's what's up. Are you, are you that right there? Uh, Kitty Killer. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, definitely Kitty the. Hold on, right quick. I got something for her. Like I said, Kitty the Killer. That's what I'm saying. She killing it, man. She killing it right now. She uh, right now she 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 got she's on mute right quick. I think she's outside, uh, doing uh doing a little thing. And as soon as she get back. Soon as she get back, we will continue the conversation. But see, this is the behind the scenes. So welcome everybody to the behind the scenes, uh, the podcast show interview. I'm interviewing Kitty the trucker right now. Now this little long pause is going to be definitely different when I actually bring this video out. But uh, but this give I, I want to do this, and I want to ask you guys: Do you do you guys Chicago BBW? What's going on? Do you guys like this? Do do you guys like it when I I I go live with my uh with my interviewees? Because you know, like I said, I I I just started because I got my whole setup. That's was that was the point of me uh testing everything out, making sure that y'all can hear me, making sure that I got uh sound, making sure that the connection is good. Because see, if I try to do the connection, like tether it from the from the phone to the computer, I lose that, I I I lose that 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 connection. You know what I'm saying? I lo I lose a little bit of that connection and then everything will be everything would be all chopped up and you couldn't hear me and video feed is all messed up and all like that. So I rap, that's why I like it to go live from my phone. And then, like I said, I can actually do this the regular way. Like I normally do it. How do you guys like the lighting? I mean, the lighting in this bitch is on point. It is on point. My green screen is just something fucking awesome right now. I mean, damn it, man. I mean, I, whoo, I, I that, that's what I'm saying. Support the boy. Get me something to drink, man. Cash app, dollar sign, lockout men. I go, I, I go hard for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, I gotta get myself some. Smoke weed every day. That's what I'm talking about. I go hard for you guys. You know what I'm saying? So I try to do it right. Try to come. Try to come, you know, correct. You know what I'm saying? I I, I do it from the truck. You know what I'm saying? So hook your brother up. You know what I'm saying? Do that for you. Do do that for your for your guy. Uh but again. All right, I'm back for a second. There, there she go. But then again, uh, but then again, like I said, if if you guys want to support me, man, hook a nigga, hook a brother up. That's what I'm saying. Um, let me see. Uh Michael Watts says. I like all the videos, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, BB or Teflon, the trucker says, yeah, I like the live interview. I appreciate that. Like I said, I'm giving you guys behind the scenes. This is what it's, this is what it's like behind the scenes. And then when you, when I, you know, finish cutting everything down, then y'all see the nice background, the, the, the green screen lit up and the, and the lights and all that good shit. I'm just saying, um, Chicago BBW, <laughs> it looks like you in a real studio. I know, right? I know, right? Looking crisp. Uh, David Garcia said, "It looks hotter than it looks hotter than a mother in that sleeper, bruh." Thank you, thank you. That's what I'm saying. But it ain't hot though. I got the I got the AC pumping. <laughs> Emo Jen, what's going on? No smoking, but you smoking these interviews. Thank you, bruh. Thank you, bruh. Um, Kitty, <laughs> Kitty the trucker, she's back. Yes. Kitty the trucker is back. Um, <laughs> Kitty, man. Like, nice here. like, like I said, man, you you are killing it out here, though. For real, for real. Uh, you are killing it out here. Uh, 
you you only been with the one company. And you already said that. Well, no, nah, I was about to say Swift. Uh, Prime is doing it for you. What's the end game? What's the end game for you? Uh, for you in all of this. Um, you know, that's how I got out here. My end game has changed uh, <laughs> a few times. Right now, I am considering doing the lease purchase with Prime. Um, not 100% I'm going to do that yet. But um, I give myself about three to five years out here, and uh, I'm getting out, you know. I'm investing, you know, finding other streams of income, and, yeah, I'm trying to get out here. I'm trying to open up me a nail salon, okay? Oh, okay. But that's a little bit further down the line, but, yeah. Now wait, um, now you said now you hold, know, I actually love it out here. Hold up now. Oh hold up. Hold up now. Hold up. You said you're gonna open up a nail salon, but ain't it too saturated down in Georgia? Ain't there's a nail salon on every corner down there from what I'm hearing? I mean the females up in Cleveland. Now, I didn't, the females up in Cleveland Cleveland, Cleveland migrated down oh, yeah. to Georgia because of because of the opportunities down there. Ain't it saturated? What's what's up, mm-hmm. man? It is saturated in Georgia. However, you know, I, I don't. I'm probably gonna be moving. I never, maybe not in Georgia, but you know, I have me a little trick up my sleeve for you know when I open my nails salon. But it may not be in Georgia, you know. Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's what's. I up. don't commit to one location. You know, I've I've lived in. I was you know Georgia's home, but I lived in North Carolina. Um, I lived in New York for about six years, and then I came back to Georgia. And so, you know, now I don't know. New York is too damn busy. I'm why? Why did you? Spot. Why? Why did you move up to New York? New New York is too damn busy. New York will be the last. Uh, my, oh wait, wait a minute. My fault, D. I, I know you from New York, bruh. But I would never new move to New York, Who's man. D. D. Nitty. D. Nitty. Yeah, he's from New D. York. Nitty? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Shout out good. to my brother. Uh, I, I won't move to New York, but why? Why did you move to New uh, New York and stay for as long as you stayed? Oh, um, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Um, I was reading comments. Um, I moved to New York and I stay. Um, well, initially I moved to New York um, because I had a boyfriend that lived there, but. I lived there for six years. You know, I had a good job. I was making good money. You know, I was learning things. I'm a little southern girl from Georgia, okay? And New York was an eye-opener for me. I love my time there. And honestly, <laughs> I miss it sometimes, but I am happy to be, you know, kind of out of it. But New York is a special place. Oh, okay. That's... And I finally get it. When they say, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. You can make it true. anywhere, <laughs> yep. Exactly. I don't know. But if you can make it up there, you can definitely make it anywhere. I lived in um, Brooklyn for about four years. I lived over there in um, Brownsville. d Nitty can tell you about Brownsville. That's oh, where man. I ain't, ain't, ain't Brownsville is the home of Biggie? Ain't ain't Biggie from, uh, from Brownsville? No. no, Biggie's not from Brownsville? Nah, he's from, um, he wasn't from Brownsville. He was from... Um, Best Eye. Dang, I forgot. But it wasn't Brownsville. Was it Best Eye? Exactly. Best Eye. Biggie best from Best Eye. All right. Brandon Hicks, what's going on, yeah, bro? Best Eye. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You was about to say something. I ain't going to cut you off. Come on now. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was just saying Best Eye has already, you know, has changed. Oh, okay, okay. That's not, it's not like it was back in the day when Biggie was, you know, over there. But, yeah, that's all I was going to say. That all made right. you go ahead. All right, so Brandon Hicks, what's going on, man? Welcome, welcome. He said, salute lockout men and Kitty. Rally, North Carolina, checking in. That's what's up. That's what's up. Emo Jen yes, says, sir, uh, "That's what I say, Brandon." R- Riley, Riley, North Carolina. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I stay there. Uh, Emo Jen says, yo, a nail salon with wine and cheese and a massage is a start to separate from the pack. Ooh, yeah, wine and cheese and and getting the nails dialed up and everything like that. That's what's up. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to make sure I put that down. See, that's what's up. The LOM community coming through for the girl. Hey, let me ask you this, Kitty, man. What, What sets you apart? What set the one and only... Kitty the trucker, y'all. Hold on. The one and only Kitty the trucker. What, <laughs> set, what sets you apart from other drivers out here, though? Well, I'm not a driver. I'm a 
what sets me apart? <laughs> um, I think I came out here at a time where, you know, I'm a little bit older. And so some of the lessons that people are learning out here now, I've learned them already. So I'm applying those lessons to the things out here. And I feel like I'm getting ahead faster, you know. That's just my take on it, you know. Again, like you said earlier about, you know, how do I maintain my money and stuff. You know, at 34 years old, I, I finally got that under control. So, you know, yes, the money I make, people people spend it, and then they're in the hole here, they're in the hole there. But I think what sets me apart is I know that I have a goal that I need to attain, and I do not have time to just blow money. I'm trying to save, 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 and get out. I'm, I'm going for the bag and getting out. I think that kind of sets me apart um, um, from, from you know, from some of the other stories that I have heard out here. Yeah, that's what's um, up. That's what's up, man. Yeah. And All I'm right. a go-getter. If anybody know me, my trainer, anybody who's met me out here at prom, they know I'm a go-getter. So, you know. That's what's up. All right. I'm so gonna make it happen no I, matter what. I got a few I got a few. I, I got I got a few. So you you rocking out with Prime eleven months. Who who have you met over over at Prime? Uh who have you met so far over at Prime that's 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 YouTubers? We we about to move over to that side right quick. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that in a little bit because you 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 you, you coming up. You you came from a little bit of subscribers from from what I've seen to a little bit over three thousand subscribers within a couple of months, and your best and your best videos there is the can I vent videos. What made you what what made you come up with uh with with something like that? <laughs> well, you know the can I vent videos come from this is so much that happens out here. And, you, I mean, every day there's something to vent about. You know it is. Every day something um, something goes wrong. Somebody does something that they shouldn't do. And it was just kind of like I don't want to spend all my videos, you know, complaining about things, putting in all my videos. So I just figured, hey, let me do a kind of vent segment, you know, to kind of highlight some of the stuff that goes on that we all deal with. It's, some of the stuff that I talk about, it's never going to change. It is what it is out here. Um, just like that, you know, people respecting our time. Nobody respects our cars but us, nope. you know? That's nope. never going to change. Car drivers cutting us off, and that's never going to change. But I can vent about it, get it off my chest, and, you know, it gives a place for other, other truck drivers to come and say, yeah, that happened to me. It's such a little bit, so we all like to vent, and I kind of like to post it on Mondays. You know how Monday is the start of the week, you know, mm -hmm. the, you know, the worst for everybody. So, you know, that's what I came up with that. I think it's, it's doing pretty good, you know, because I have a lot of stuff to think about every day. Yeah, and, you, you know, when I put the videos out, so many people hop on and, you know, share their experiences. So, And, you know, yeah. your, your, <laughs> can I, your Can I Vent videos are, are, are the most viewed videos. Are you Like I said, you're a little bit over 3,000 3, subscribers, but your Can I Vent videos is averaging about 8K. Your, your latest one got 8,000 views. Uh, the one before that, five thousand yeah. views. The one your settlement, <laughs> your your settlement, twenty k views, man. That's that's crazy for a person that's only got three thousand yeah, subscribers. Yeah, people want to know. That's crazy, right people there. People want to know. Yeah, that so, was and the truck tour, the truck tour video. Oh, the good. truck. Oh, the truck tour. Uh, nineteen k. Yeah, you 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 killing it yeah. on uh you killing it on YouTube. So. Who's uh who what YouTubers you have met over over at Prime uh that you have met? Have you met Junior, no. Busy, uh what's that girl's name? Uh damn it, man. G78 girl. I've been trying to get her to come on to come come on the interview for a long time, but uh but I, I stopped pushing it. What's her name? Uh Tiny House. Tiny House. I don't know, you yeah. tell me. Yeah, tiny house, tiny house. Have you met? She's a she's a lease driver over at Prime too, and uh, by the looks of it, she killing it over there also. So have you have you met any of them guys? No, I have not. I'm just kidding, Katrina. Oh, okay, okay, that's what's up. Stay solo, stay solo, stay out of the business. <laughs> I mean, I haven't I haven't met anyone. You know, I just said you know. 
I've been telling. Have anybody, before we get up out of here, do, do Prime has the book of YouTube? I know I asked you this before because, <laughs> you know, we did, you know, we did our first interview a while back. But now since you've been I there. I do want to say, thing, I'm sorry. Do, do, do Prime got the book of YouTube? They do not. I have no idea why so many Prime drivers are on YouTube. But hey, you know, it is what it is. But no, there's no, there's no YouTube video, uh, a book of, of YouTube over there. Um, <laughs> I do want to say shout out to AC the Mogul, though. That's oh, my girl. AC oh, yeah. AG, a, 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 C, definitely check her out. Uh, did you see the, did you see the, did you see the interview that I had with her about her uh, peppermint patty trainer? Did you see that? No, I did you, not see that video. You, I you saw got, your first video. You guys had another one? Yeah, you got to watch it. It's it's the one that she had trouble with. Uh, she had trouble with her trainer and it was all about peppermint patty. So you definitely, it's funny because I put the peppermint, oh, wow. every time we mention, <laughs> every time we mention peppermint patty, I put the peppermint patty commercials in the, uh, in the video. So you definitely, you definitely got to watch that. That was uh that was a, a hilarious video. All right. Kitty, the trucker, everybody. Okay. I'll check it out. Kitty, the trucker. What up? You brand new. Less than it, less than a year, killing it. What tips and advice do you have for for new jacks that's that's coming out here? Um, if you come out here and you get a good trainer, just pay attention and listen to everything and take it all in. I know, you know, if you have a long training process like Prime, um, you know. It's going to get annoying, but that is valuable time is that you should take it all in. You know, once I got out here solo, you know, it was a different beat. But I'm glad I had the time that I had when I turned. Six months was a long time, but I made sure I applied everything he told me um, once I got solo. Also, and if you don't have a good trainer, I would just document, you know, make sure you document everything bad that's happening. So that when it's time to, I will go and I will just support them, you know. Um, take your time out here. You can't be too hard on yourself. Uh, things happen. And if it happens to you, trust and believe it happened to someone else before you. You know, we all go through things. And I, I've talked to vets out here that's been out here years. And they'll tell you the same thing. Some days they have off days backing. Every day is not going to be a good backing day, no matter how much experience you have you know so you just gotta take your time with yourself be patient um i kind of mentioned that in one of my videos when i was um um chaining up the truck I, I tried to rush through it and rushing you know i messed up so once i slowed down and took my time i got it done the first time well the second time but you know just be patient with yourself you can't be too hard on yourself out here you'll get it and no matter you know, the truck drivers out here, they're intimidating. They act like they came out the moon driving these trucks, okay? Mm -hmm. But you have to, you have to just, you have to ignore them. You have to ignore them. Because, again, they want what fuck up. I'm, you know, we all go through it. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I have. That's what's up. Out here. That's what's up. Before uh Kitty, man, I, I, I see this other video that you was caught on the mountains in in a Colorado storm. I I'm not fucking with Colorado. I, I'm just not. I'm just not going over there. <laughs> but you got caught in the storm. Did you have to put chains on? Mm hmm I was doing that training there. Mm hmm So you so you you had to put chains <laughs> on. Yeah, we were on a low. It was a high priority low, a high value low. And, you know, we got out and we came. My trainer taught me how to chain up the truck. And it was my drive shift. And, you know, I went down that mountain. It was it was definitely a struggle. It was a challenge. You know, I was afraid. Once I got to the top and it was time to go down, I was really afraid. But, you know, I made it through. And since then, um, I chained up again when I went over Donna Pass back in March. Um, I went ahead and I chained up there by myself. Um, chaining. The thing is, I know everybody say they shut down when it's when it's time to chain up. But you know, I feel like to each to each is on. You know, if you feel like you can do it, do it. I know some people who don't even know how to chain. So you know, there's another thing. But 
I don't think I'm going to change this winter. I think I'm going to shut down if it snows. But, um, yeah. All it's right. not that bad. I, I like knowing how to do the job fully, even if I don't ever do it again. There you go. There you go. There you go. Woo! Man, well, you don't have to worry about coming back, D Nitty. We about to end it. You know what I'm saying? We about to end it. So thank you, Kitty the Trucker. Yes, ma'am, for coming back on, talking to talking thank to me you. in the LOL well, community. Back. Yes, sir. You can always come back. You know you can always come back. You can always come back. Oh, you know, I, I thank all of you guys, all of my interviewees, even the ones that we don't that that don't talk no more. Um even the ones that you know, that we don't talk no more. It, it, it's only one. But everybody else, y'all can come back. Um, I appreciate <laughs> I, yeah, that, yeah, that. That's a whole different story, and I'm not even going to get into all of that. Well, no, actually two. Two oh, of okay. them. It's two of them. But it's a, it's a whole different story, and I'm not even going to get into all that. I, I Positive vibes over here. Positive vibes over here. You know what I'm saying? If you guys want to come vibes on. Yes, ma'am. If you guys want to come on and chop it up with me on the Lockout Men podcast show, go ahead and hit me up in the Gmail. That's lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Or head over to the Instagram, which I am about to... Hold on. Let me... Uh, shut that down kitty the trucker promote your ins- i mean promote your uh social media right quick yes you guys if you guys want to see me off of youtube you can check me out on instagram is at m-s-k-i-t-t-y-0303 that's my instagram and my snapchat and it's also my twitter you know i'm kind of miss kitty 0303 everywhere <laughs> Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now we can bring it back in. Now we can bring it back in. So definitely uh, check her out over there, uh, Instagram and uh, and YouTube. Like I said, her "Can I Vent" videos is one of the is one of the most popular videos over there. Thank you, uh, Chicago BBW, for that for uh, for that. Um, again, next time when I come out, like I said, I like to do these behind the uh, behind the scene interviews with these nice people that decide to come in and ch- uh, chop it up with me. Uh, if you guys like it like that, let me know in the comments and let me know what I can do better. You know what I'm saying? And while you at it, hook a brother up with some coffee. Dollar sign, lock out me. I'm just saying, hook me up. I need something to drink. Anyway, um, if you like content, <laughs> if you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for all the content and don't forget the all button all right on that note i'm about to get on up out of here um thank you for watching i got somebody to play me out thank you for watching thank you for listening and thanks to the lom community for being here d nitty chicago bbw and the rest of you guys i really do appreciate you guys uh coming in supporting your boy and everything like that until next time i am gone You guys take it easy. Y'all stay blessed. Peace. Be safe. All right, Kitty the Trucker.